Christ looked like. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Strauss, can you please call the roll? Mr. Bacco? Here. The third quarter ends March 21st, and then March 22nd, there will be a too early start, and that's the beginning of the fourth quarter. Moving to arts, the drama club performed the play The Wizard of Oz for three sold out shows from March 1st, 1st through the 3rd. And the band concerts will be in late April, and the choir concerts will be in early May. Moving to athletics, members of the boys and girls bowling teams each moved on the regional level competitions for teams and as individuals recently. The boys' team members included Luke Jellison, Robbie Phillips, Alex Squirt, and Tim Myers. Robbie and Alec qualified for the individual boys' regional tournament. The girls' team members included Regina Zezza, Ava Zalewski, Sophia Bisher, Vanessa McMichael, Liz Wilson, and Grace Swiderski. Vanessa McMichael qualified for the PIWA Bowling Championships on Friday, March 15th. Caitlin, Ava, and Vanessa qualified for individual girls' regional tournament. Girls swimming and diving, diving finished seventh as a team at the AAA, Double, AAA Whitfield Swimming and Diving Championships. Maggie Elder, Destiny Homan, Hannah Garcia, and Lauren Bell all qualified for the PIAA Championships at Buckner University March 13th and 14th. Boys swimming and diving finished fourth as a team at the AA Whitfield Swimming and Diving Championships. Patrick Craddy, Chris Hees, Henrik Van der Westhusten, and Charlie Thompson all qualified for the PIAA Championships at Buckley University on March 15th and 16th. All broke at least one school record while competing in their events at the Reveal Championships. For girls wrestling, two freshmen, Rowan Lewis and Miranda Cantoris, became the first girls girl wrestlers in GLSE history to qualify for the PIAA Championships at Hershey on March 7th through the 9th. For boys wrestling, four wrestlers, senior Jacob Braun, juniors Leo Joseph and Luke Lishaw, and freshman Hunter Snyder, all qualified for the PIAA Championships at Hershey. Leo, junior Leo Joseph placed eighth in the 114 pound weight class. Freshman Hunter Snyder placed sixth in the 172 pound weight class. And junior Luke Lishaw finished fifth in the 121 pound weight class. The fourth career speaker series opportunity for the school year occurred on Thursday, March 7th during jail time block A and B. 13 professionals from fields that include all five career pathways met with hundreds of students each half hour block. And moving to citizenship, freshman Giovanna Petrazio was selected as a 2024 Carson Scholar. The Carson Scholarship Program awards $1,000 scholarships to students in grades 4th through 11th who have a GPA of 3.75 or higher for the current school year and, and are involved in community service activities. In addition, James Pettico and Maddie Slater, Alana Sweeney, Aviona Nucci, and Robin Riley were named 2024 recognized Carson Scholar. 
Moving into junior high, the top cats lunch in happened today. Eight students were nominated by teachers as their top cat. The teacher nominated them and their parents are invited to have lunch with the top cat students. The junior high musical Peter Pan Jr. takes place March 22nd through the 24th. And during this month, each 7th and 8th grade student will attend a career pathway session of their choice to learn about different careers they might be interested in. Now moving to elementary schools. Starting with LES, last week, March 4th through the 8th, we read across America. LES students listen to a mass reader, read a story each day, and had to guess the reader. The readers were revealed on the Adventist Assembly on March 8th. March 8th through the 15th was the Scholastic Book Fair. March 15th, Family Fun Night, sponsored by the PTO, happened. March 18th through the 19th, incoming kindergartners screenings will occur. March 19th, there's also going to be spring group pictures. March 21st, LES students will participate in Rock Your Socks in honor of World Down Syndrome Day. March 27th, grades K through 3 will have their spring concerts and they will take place for family and friends. And finally, March 28th will be LES's school wide Minute to Win It and Pie Teacher Assembly. And finally, moving to Bagley, March 8th is the County Band students will be at York School District. March 12th, Club Pictures for Yearbook will take place. March 13th is their recorder concert. On March 18th will be the Limo Lunch. The top reader in each home room from the Readathon will get to attend this year. The Skate Night is March 19th. Spring Picture Day is March 21st. The 25th to the 26th will be in incoming kindergarten screenings. And finally, April 4th is the 5th and 6th grade course concerts. Any questions? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Arpeo. Uh, the enrollment report is attached. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on kindergarten numbers. Uh, right now, we are sitting at 165 kindergartners enrolled and registered. Um, last year, this time, we were at 151, so we are plus 14 at this time. So that's a great trend that we hope to see continue. Uh, that's all I have. Next week of January, we're going to ask for approval of tuition students as listed. And we're also going to ask for approval of the AFS Intercultural Programs International Exchange Organization and Foreign Exchange Student as listed there in the attached. Moving on to finance, next week we're going to present the treasurer's report. There's an attachment. Payment of the bills is attached. Approval of gift, grants, and donation is listed. Uh, we're going to move to the ask for approval of tax assessment appeals. Two of them as listed. Uh, finance committee meetings from February 13th are attached. Our next finance committee meeting is Tuesday, March 19th. Uh, facilities and operations, Mr. Dalton. Uh, attached to the book at the look at the minutes from the facilities and operations and uh, MP meeting uh, last week, March 6th. The next facilities and operations planning committee meeting will be. Wednesday, April 3rd, at 4.30 p.m. at the end the Thank you, Mr. Dalton. Student activities and recreations, Mr. Music. No report this evening. Community <coughs> relations, Mr. Rubber. Welcome. Student activities. Fair Electoral Reports and Recreation Commission meeting, this is January 18th, 2024. That's the attachment. And next, Electoral Parts of the Recreation Commission meeting will be Thursday, March 21st, 2024, at 4 30 p.m. Community Township in this building. Nothing to report this time. Thank you, Mr. Rubber. Uh, Westmore Land Air Media Good, Mr. Tully. Thank you. Uh, the uh, attachment is a summary of the WIU board minutes from the previous meeting, February 27th, and then the next WIU committee meeting will be held on March 26th, that's a Tuesday. 7 p.m. at the uh, WIU and the Cooking on Monday Road. That's it. Thank you, sir. Uh, transportation, Mr. Music, no report this evening. Thank you. UWTC uh, Joint Operating, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President, or Vice President. Um, the minutes from our last meeting on February 28th are an attachment in your agenda, and I'm just going to say that we know that for students, recognize the student month this month. It's unusual. <laughs> um, and our next uh, joint operating committee meeting will be March 27th. Oh, but I'll go on. We all also have, um, under board policy, final adoption of all the following policies. <coughs> it's brought in there, and I think all the revenue. Um, and we'll put on the final adoption. That's next. Thank you, ma'am. 
technology, uh, Mr. Tolman, see if you can handle that. Sure. Uh, so under technology, will the uh, approved uh, managed information technology services contract renewal with CCL Technologies for on-site support staff and technology staff, and there's an attachment uh, to overview. Uh, secondly, we'll approve the memorandum of understanding for the renewal with CCL Technologies for PIMS and eSchool Information Systems uh, Administration Services, and there's a following attachment as well. And that concludes the report of the Thank you. Next week we'll have a resignation uh, from food service to approve. Uh, we have a list of substitute teachers that list Negro uh, for next week. Uh, we will approve uh, professional personnel. This is a long-term substitute uh, who has stepped over the 91-day threshold. Uh, so it will be retroactive to step one. We'll approve that next week. Classified appointments. Uh, we have one custodian and a part-time food service worker to be approved. Again, there may be more in that area. We have some folks that are finishing up paperwork, so we may bring uh, more to you next week. And under support personnel, uh, supplemental, a volunteer boys with cross current as listed. Thank you. Uh, Maddie pretty much uh, did my entire other business in the rest of my report. Thank you, Maddie. Uh, just a couple of things to point out to you. Uh, she did mention Peter Payne Jr. from the Senior High School Auditorium at the Junior High Musical. If you want tickets, please uh, let Mrs. Brahoski know. Um, we do have the snow makeup day. Uh, spring break is listed on the sheet, uh, but it will end on April 1st, and we will have a snow makeup day on April the 2nd. And a reminder to our board members that your statement of financial interests are due May 1st, uh, 2024. And if you don't turn those in, Mrs. Brahoski will put you down. Uh, Mr. Vice President, that concludes my report. I forgot the board uh, meetings, but there is so. Board meetings are, are listed. Uh, nothing further. Meeting adjourned.